the long hard truth about why you get boners. They don't always have to do with sexual arousal. While some people might use the term boner to tease someone for making a silly mistake, when it comes to penises, a boner refers to having an erection, also known as a hard-on, stiffy, pitching a tent, woody, fatty, full chub, or full mast. Boners are unique. No other part of a man's external body regularly expands to two or three times its size. Plus, they can sometimes occur at the most random times and for the strangest reasons. Here, we break down everything you need to know about boners, just in case you've been wondering why and how you're getting erect. What happens to your body when you get a boner? When you get a boner, the small arteries in the penis dilate, increasing blood flow to the area. This blood fills two chambers of spongy tissue within the penis, causing them to swell and making the penis erect. As more blood flows in, the penis becomes tumescent or semi-rigid. To reach full rigidity, the veins in the penis compress, preventing the blood from flowing out. Why do boners happen? An erection typically occurs in response to sexual arousal. For younger men, simply seeing or thinking about an attractive woman can trigger an erection. As men get older, direct physical stimulation may become necessary, and in some cases, even more than that might be needed. This is where medications like Viagra can help. What are other reasons besides can cause boners? Not all erections stem from sexual arousal. There are several reasons you might experience an erection that have nothing to do with being sexually excited. Morning boner. Many men frequently wake up with an erection, commonly known as morning wood. This occurs due to peak testosterone levels in the morning and can be linked to sexual dreams or reflex erections. Reflex boner. Reflex erections can happen in response to sudden stimuli, such as being scared or startled. They can also occur during periods of stress or anxiety. Sleeping boner. All healthy men experience nocturnal erections, which occur during the REM phase of sleep. While the exact reason for this isn't fully understood, it's believed to be related to the release of nitric oxide NO during this stage of sleep. Incidental stimulation boner. Some men can experience erections from physical stimulation of the genitals that isn't sexual such as the friction caused by tight clothing while walking. So, be mindful when wearing those skinny jeans in public. You might unintentionally give strangers a show. Emotional boner. An emotional boner typically arises from a strong emotional reaction that triggers an erection. This can be due to intense feelings such as extreme sadness, anger, happiness, or love. Although experts can't fully explain it, these emotional responses can lead to a reflex erection. For instance, you might experience an emotional boner at the thought of marriage, love, or at the end of old yeller, sadness. It can be quite awkward, as it may not be connected to any sexual thoughts. A seek medical attention boner. Priapism refers to an erection that lasts for more than four hours, as highlighted in the Viagra commercials. The term is derived from Priapus, the Greek god of fertility, who was often depicted with a perpetually erect and oversized penis. Priapism can cause severe pain and usually requires an emergency room visit. It can be triggered by various factors, including erectile dysfunction medications like Viagra, 
antipsychotics such as trazodone, illicit drugs like cocaine, and blood disorders like sickle cell disease. Treatment typically involves injecting medication into the penis to help it return to a flaccid state. What should you do if you have a boner when you don't want one? Sometimes, you might find yourself with a boner at an inconvenient moment. This scenario is a common theme in high school movies, where a student is called to speak in front of the class, but is reluctant to stand up due to an unwanted erection. As a tip, you can tuck your penis up into the elastic band of your underwear. Though it's not a perfect solution, it's one way to conceal a boner. If you're stuck with an erection you'd prefer to hide, try thinking about something that doesn't arouse you, such as imagining your grandmother or a sporting event. Additionally, physical stimulation elsewhere, like gently biting your tongue or finger, can help diminish arousal and relieve the unwanted erection. What should you do if you can't get a boner? If you're struggling to get an erection, assess your lifestyle, manage stress, and check for underlying health issues. For the opposite problem, difficulty achieving an erection when desired. Don't worry, there are videos and resources available to help you understand and manage erectile dysfunction effectively. When a woman sees a man with a boner, her reaction can vary widely depending on the context, the nature of their relationship, and her own feelings. She might feel flattered, aroused, indifferent, amused, or even uncomfortable. It all depends on the situation and her comfort level with the person involved. In a consensual and intimate setting, seeing a boner might be viewed as a natural and positive response to attraction. In other contexts, however, it could be awkward or unwelcome. As with any aspect of physical intimacy, mutual respect and understanding are key. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.